Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use this project called Dolly Mini, which is uh, a project that attempts to do the same thing that Dolly Doll is capable of doing, which is to generate images from a text, okay? So just a heads up, um, the images that this model is capable of creating are not very um, detailed. They do have some kind of um, similarity with which um, you guys should, um, I think you guys should try for yourselves and see if, if you guys like this, the quality of these images. Um, so if someday we got access to Dolly, I uh, would definitely try that out. So let's just test it out. Let me test a cat wearing glasses as my first prompt. Okay. And it will, uh, the amount of time that it will take to compute will depend on which if you got a CPU or GPU instance. Um, if a lot of people are running um, this model, they are probably, and we got, so I, I think I'm, I'm using a, a GPU. You guys can see here that the images that the model were, it was capable of creating. Let's try again. <laughs> it's kind of funny to, to, to see this in action. I wonder what we can see uh, with regards to video generation in the future to generate assets. Okay, you guys can see here. Let me center this. You guys can see the images. They are kind of, they have a lot of artifacts, as you guys can see. Let me try another one. Uh, one that I holding a cup of tea, cup of tea, and we can pass more detail to the model, such as more, if we create a more detailed description, you guys can see here, um, some of them, this one is something that I was kind of waiting for to be able to generate. And I think that probably it, there will be a point on which we'll be able to create very realistic images um, on a smaller model. Okay, this one is, is close to what I want. Let me think of another prompt. Let's say a a dog is watching TV, watching TV, sitting on a couch. Let's see what, what the prompt will generate. You guys can try, as I said before, you guys can try this for yourselves. If you were trying to get access to Dolly, and you weren't able to, you should try this instead and see what you guys can, can get. Um, but the quality is not that um, mind blowing. Um, I guess you can see here, yeah. It, it kind of generates something that's close to a cat, uh, to a dog, but it's not, it doesn't have detail. Let me see. If I just put a cat, so the, the quality will be way better because I'm not asking the model to do something um, drastic, I would say. So you guys can see if I just put a cat, the image that it will generate will have a higher quality. As you guys can see, this one is kind of uh, realistic. These ones are scary. <laughs> yeah, this is cursed. Um, okay, let me try another thing. Let me try. Um, let me see. 
Uh, let me try a a monitor stand for cheap. Let me see. It can generate uh, lots of different images. Uh, I think this model was trained on uh, millions or hundreds of millions of images from the web. As you guys can see here, it was able to generate that uh, a cheap a cheap monitor a game Mauser gamer gamer a mouse gamer. Let's see what we would generate. I do think that um. If the modus is as capable of um, interpolizing um, difficult difficult um, ideas, we would be able to. Oh, you guys can see this one has a lot of detail. The first one. Those ones are, yeah. A white, let's a white, a white mouse gamer. Yeah, I should I should put spaces here. I want to see what most gamer. So you guys can comment down below what you guys think about this model. I think if the 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 precision of the images that it's able to create were better, even though the resolution is lower, it would be great step. It would be. <laughs> you would be in uh, incredible. Okay, as you guys can see, white mouse gamer. Let me think of another one. What up? What about Call of Duty? Uh, Call of Duty, modern warfare in Brazil. Uh, nineteen seventies. Let's see what it will generate. I'm curious of, of of what the model will create. So as I was saying, um, the amount of images that this model was trained on is uh, I cannot think of that. Okay, you can see it's something like Call of Duty, but it doesn't have a lot of detail. Uh, if I put okay, Warzone. Warzone Call of Duty. I should put Modern Warfare Call of Duty. Let's just put Call of Duty to see what we got. It would probably just be like a generic scene of. Okay, I should put a Call of Duty in third person, right? Um, to see what will it will generate. Because guys can see Call of Duty, it, some images have detail, like this one, kind of have detail in third person. Call of Duty in third person. I wonder if this model has, because this model was trained on a, as I said, I'm going to say this again, huge, huge amount of images. It has... um. Yeah, it doesn't create third person. Uh, let me think of another image to generate. A. No, a laptop. Made out of, with cake. Let's see. Oh, laptop. I misspelled it. Laptop cake. Okay. A laptop made with cake. Let's see what we get. If you guys um weren't able to get this run, you guys can comment down below. Um, it would be interesting to see if you guys um, want to try this out because I, I do think that there is a market for image generated images. Oh, you guys can see here. Okay. Uh, 
yeah it doesn't have like the, the the full detail that you want but it's a it's a it's a star definitely it's a star okay let me try the last one what about um a web page made with html in on Google home page um, with a modern look. let's see what this will generate I hope it does generate something interesting as I said before and I will say again uh, I think we should uh, see this apply to other things okay it, it did generate something this logo here okay so if you guys like this video don't forget to to like the video and if you guys like the content i think you guys should subscribe to uh and activate the bell to receive future videos okay so thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys in the next one